Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will solve a spring constant question similar to one you might encounter on the Sybil section of the FE Exam. This episode and question is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. A long metal rod can be used as a very stiff spring. The deformation of a rod is given by the following expression. P is the loading, L is the length of the rod, A is the cross-sectional area, and E is the modulus of elasticity. What is the spring constant K of the rod? And then of course they give you four possible answers. Now, I'm trying to think of how I would go through this problem if I'm sitting in the exam. And the first thing that I would want to figure out is what is K, right? What is the spring constant? What is the equation for that? So what we would do is we would search for spring constant in the FE reference handbook, and you would come to this page and under the potential energy section, and you would find the equation that you could see here. F of S equals KS. This could also be F of X equals KX. This is just the, the um, is a measurement, okay? So this is important for you to understand because that's how you're going to be able to line up these equations. So with that, you're going to take, think of this equation or note this equation down, and then you're going to go and you're going to look at the two equations that, that now that you have, right? You have the F equals KX, the deflection X and the force F are related through this spring constant of K. Similarly, the loading and the deformation are also similarly related. So what do I mean by that? If you look at these two equations, you have the force, the pressure that are related, and you have the deflection in X and the deformation, the delta. They're also related. So what does that leave you with? That leaves you with K for the spring constant in one equation. And in the other equation, it, it leaves you with AE over L. Therefore, the term analogous to a spring constant for the metal rod is simply AE over L. Now, as an engineer, you're probably thinking, this seems a little too easy. What if I really want to think through this a little bit more? Well, I would recommend that you don't, so you don't waste time in the exam. But if you wanted to, for the purposes of this exercise, go back again and look at the two equations. And what you could do is work out the units of each equation. Go through and write out the units of each of the terms. And as they cancel out, you will see that the K is best represented by AE over L. Therefore, the answer to the question would be A, AE over L. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. You have to do a ton of practice problems to get ready for this exam. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly. So please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next time on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.